just got at the hotel and I'm kind of starting to freak out more and more. Mabel is scared out of her mind. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Okay, we just got to the hotel and this is this is the elevator. Like I and just to clarify, I still feel like shit. <laughs> I haven't told her anything. Okay, let's go second floor. Okay, okay, Wat is die deur? Ik weet het niet. Nee, kom even kijken. Nee, dat licht gaat ook niet aan. Ja, dat is van de wc. Deze lamp is van hier. Oh nee. Wat de heck? Hoe gaat die lamp aan? Wacht, ik pik hier. Aha. This is the shower curtain. En dan... Oké, okay, we're good. Want ik feel my heart right now. Maar goed, uh, dat is het eerste. Dit. Het komt echt alsof je zo'n Lucifer. Uh... Zo. Ja, eerlijk, zo klonk het. Echt? Ja! Sorry. Ik begin me wel een beetje schuldig te voelen al. <laughs> Komt goed. Ik zag wat. Wat? Nee, ik ga het je zo uitleggen. Stop. Er is niks. Ja, maak mij bang. <laughs> hey everybody. Um, welcome to today's video. Let's just say that today will be a Halloween episode, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a... <laughs> a very interesting. A very interesting video. Yeah, we're in our haunted hotel. <laughs> okay, so just to explain the situation a bit before Kim does her talking. Basically, this whole day I came across this new podcast, mm -hmm. which is about like all murder cases and I can listen to them all day. So everything terrifies them out of me. And then you have this little sweet child over here. <laughs> Who doesn't want to tell me anything about this I, hotel? I will in about two minutes, oh, I God. promise. So I've been kind of teasing Meryl with like small bits of this about this hotel and like I've told one of the stories of things that happened here. There's a few more. Oh, um, so I'm gonna tell you, tell you and everyone else about that. So before I I go into this hotel and the stories and the things that happened here. Um, we have to give a quick disclaimer because we are not allowed to film here. Yeah. yeah. So we're here filming, um, even what, though we're not allowed to. What that would mean for you guys is that you won't see like the front of the hotel um, or specific logos. We won't yeah. call out a name. We're mostly going to film in, in this room and the hallways because there's some stories there. So let's begin. Ooh, I'm nervous. Wait, before we begin, I'm wearing my spooky, scary skeleton shirt and socks. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I'm excited about that. I want you to guess how old you think this hotel is. Like... Just a little guess. I know that something happened here in the Second World War. Mm -hmm. It's like <sighs> so older than that. Oh my god, tell me. This hotel was built in 1897, okay. which means it's like... Fuck. Wacht, wacht, wacht. Wacht, wacht. Wacht, wacht. Wacht, wacht. Wacht, wacht. Wacht, which means this hotel is 124 years old. I, I, I want you to, to hold that number, the 124. I want you to remember that, okay? It, it's important. 
So this hotel was built in 1897. It has been renovated in, I think, 2010? Not sure. Um, but before, it's, it's been renovated. So it got renovated in about 2010, I believe. But all the things that people have reported happened before 2010. So we might not see anything tonight, but the stories are really creepy. So at least you got something for this Halloween. Spooky story time! <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna start with the most like known story about this hotel, which you kind of partly already know about. Because okay. I've told you and I just told you in the car. And this is the story that you can find like more easily than the rest. There is a girl, or was a girl, um, who's named Desiree Verstralen, Verstralen, who was an 18 year old Belgian girl. And she was unalived by the Germans in World War II. I believe that the Germans have unalived or this girl um, in the parking lot. We didn't really like notice anything weird about the parking lot. Dat was vuurwerk. Dat was vuurwerk. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god, echt maar dit verhaal. It's okay. I know. So the most popular story about this girl is that when people turn their lights off, they see her in the windows. That's why I shut the curtains. That's why curtains. we all shut the curtains. But there hasn't been a report about her being in any of the windows except for one room, which we're not gonna name, but you can find it super easily online. It's the first thing that I found, and it's also what we requested, but we didn't get the room. Oh, also speaking about the fact that we're not allowed to film here and stuff. I asked the hotel if we could stay in that specific room. I knew the number, I knew kind of the story about it. They sent us back an email saying that there aren't any ghost stories here, that we are not allowed to film here, and that they don't cooperate with YouTube videos. They never really spoke about it, except for one interview that the... I don't know if it's still the current owner, but the owner at that time did one interview, being like there has been some reports, but it's gone now. I personally think that maybe there is still something here and the hotel just doesn't want it to come out. We're kind of getting off track of the story about the girl, but that's why we're not in that room. Because I really wanted that room, but yeah, it's okay. Guess I'm lucky, huh? <laughs> so, like I said, she's also been seen in the parking lot. Um, however, this was by um, somebody, I think his website is like ghosthunters.nl, something like that. Um, I don't know if it's a medium or if it's just a ghost hunter, but he said that he either felt or saw the girl in the parking lot. I'm not really sure about that. It was kind of um, confusing, but he also said that it might not be actually a girl, but it might be a different ghost, which I'll come back to later. So there's actually a book written about this girl, which is called The Geest van de Vloeiweide, and it's written by John van... Ireland, but he wrote a book about her in 2004, so that's before the newest um, reports. She had not been seen since 1948 until 2009. That's when some reports came out, some people complained, you know, obviously that freaks the shit out of people, I get that. That's kind of the story behind the girl. I think we're gonna do a little room tour first before I tell the rest of the stories, just to kind of keep it I Interesting. Hate you. <laughs> um, we have the door over here, obviously. Um, we did lock it for obvious reasons. <laughs> this is a little overview of the room. The thing is, I noticed about the windows when I close the curtains. I'm freaking terrified to open the curtains. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm scared. If you look, it's um, pretty difficult to look outside. Nee, ik durf. Oh, it's... Oh! Stop! It's so gross! No, we, we have to check the windows. Maybe there are like fingerprints. <laughs> so the bed. This is seriously so creepy. This glass hit, like you can like look through it. I'm kind of scared to open this. <laughs> 
Oh, it's just a blanket. <laughs> Never mind. We have the bathroom. Shh. And um, fun fact, we were supposed to be here with Yola. Oh god. <laughs> the curtain is still open. They're so it's so gross. There's like drips of like rain or something, and it's so scary. We were supposed to be here with the three of us, um, but unfortunately, Giora got sick, so she wasn't able to join. But I guess we're kind of lucky because this was supposed to be the bed for one of us. It's literally the creepiest bed. Like it's not even an actual cover. It's like like what is this? This is I I'm scared to look under it, but it's creepy. So, okay, um, I don't know if it's me getting all crazy, but to me, that curtain over there is moving. I'm not even fucking kidding. Somebody's freaking out. We had a little break while filming the room tour. Kim was in the bedroom and I sat down on the bed and I was like, oh my god. It kind of looks like the curtain is moving. So I filmed it with my mobile. So I showed it to Kimberly and she was like, oh yeah, that's an orb. And I was like, what's an orb? And she was like, oh yeah. I'm not going to tell you just yet, so. Yeah, it's going to be a little surprise for now. Oh. So, okay, back to the room tour. So there's this creepiest door that it just took some shots of and we don't know what it leads to and we're kind of scared to open it. So we're gonna film while opening it. This is the creepiest mirror. Yeah, and the toilet isn't that interesting. It's just a toilet, I think. The only thing is, is that the light. Yeah, and the door. Right oh yeah, the door, it like gets stuck and you can barely open it. Like, you gotta push real hard. So that sucks, but besides that, it's fine. So moving on, are you ready? No. So, like I said, when I googled things about this hotel, I found this site called ghosthunters.nl Well, he says that there's more than one ghost. It's not two, it's not three, it's not four, it's not five, it's six. He counted six ghosts. Kind of five, but also kind of six. This is, I, I just kind of spoiled it to you. Die 124, hè? Door welk getal kun je dat delen? Ik ben niet goed te rekenen. Door zes! On the second floor of this hotel, there is a rich man who used to own this hotel. So he is a very, very, very rich man. Like he it was loaded. And apparently, according to the guy who owns the website and who's been here, he likes to show it off. And he also said that this guy was never loved in his life. He was kind of a lonely man and the only thing that he had was money. So apparently, he's mostly seen around the fourth door on the right side of the second floor. So there's also a chair where he's been seen in. It's like a wooden, creepy-ass old chair. So that's the thing about the owner onto the third floor, which is the floor that we are on. Yay. There are two couples mm -hmm. on this floor. Two ghost couples. So the first couple is reported to be really kind. They leave everyone alone. So they just walk the hallways and they are seen around the first room on the left side of this floor. So maybe that's a room that they stayed in, maybe they died here. There's not that much known about that couple. So the second couple is mostly on the right side of the hallway. We are on the left. So we're kind of good because we have the good ghosts who aren't even at our room. So we're, we're, we should be fine. 
So the woman isn't always seen, she's not always there. The husband, however, this might freak you out. He has been seen in the shower. That's why I was so scared to open the shower curtain. So about the 18 year old girl, um, there are some mixed stories about that because some people say that the woman in the last couple who isn't always in the room also might be the 18 year old girl. Now I only read like two things about that so I'm not sure how true that is. So I think what we're gonna do because it's almost 10 30 i think we're gonna start in the hallways and kind of work our way back to the room okay so i ordered an emf reader but it didn't come so that's great however i did download a ghost hunting app it's called ghost hunting tools it's the best app that i could find online okay i'm gonna start screen recording right now and i think we're just gonna lay it on the bed but it, this is an EMF reader and kind of a spirit box in one. I don't know if it works, but it's kind of fun to have. So I think we're just gonna use this walking around the hotel, walking around the room, see if we can find some energies. Okay. Okay, so, um... I'm freaking out. So I just shut the camera off and we're about to get out. Oh, and it literally, the first word it said, oh, it said war, not war. Which I will move on this order with English, but you can know. War. Yeah, I Yeah. It's my Echt? Yeah. It's fucking cold here. I think I see the chair. Back again. I think this is the chair. I'm not sure. Oh, take one of these. So we just walked around the hotel with the app. That was crazy. We got some really weird words. Previously, when we were on our way to the hotel, um, Kim told me like, okay, so it could be that they mentioned some names of people you know. Or knew. Or knew. Um, so don't be terrified about that. We walked past this. Um, chair and suddenly Anna came up the name Anna and at first I didn't really thought of something and then Kim asked me like do you know someone with that name and I was like oh my god like I had goosebumps all over and I felt like very cold for a moment and then I realized that um, Anna is the name of a friend of mine who died to me I got like oh cold and goosebumps and I feel like even my face got a bit wider. Yeah. I also want to say you never mentioned her name to me. You told me about her but you never mentioned her name. I never heard that name. That's why I asked you like hey do you know anyone yeah. with this name? It was just it was so weird. Okay so when we were still in this room we got War, the girl like I said who got unalived here was killed by Germans during the second the World second war, war. Um, then we got to the chair that I told you guys about that the owner um, sometimes sits in we got back again and then we got mine 
And that was when we were like... We were like walking to some we other were, rooms, right? No, we were at the chair of the old man, the old owner Still. of this hotel. Yeah, because then you asked, is this the chair you always sat in? Oh, and yeah. then we got like And then mine. I said mine, yeah, that's right. And uh, um, weird thing is when we got like a few, um, yeah, we, we were, were the window. pretty close to the windows. Yeah. And um, if I'm not mistaken, those were the windows that looked at the parking lot. Yeah. <gasps> oh, and um, the thing that Kim forgot to tell you guys oh. is that um, previously um, Kim was in the bathroom. She knew. And what? I just got she knew. I just got she knew. Meaning what? I don't know, but she knew. Okay, sorry, continue. I had a feeling that the curtains were moving. So I said that to Kim and she was like, oh, uh, make sure you, rec you record it. So I did that. And while recording, I did see something moving through like shark when I saw. Um, and then I showed it to Kim. She was like, wait, show me again. Yeah, so she was like, oh, can you see the curtains move or am I going crazy? And I watched the video and I saw two things fly in front of the video and I was like, well, that might be an orb. To be fair, it is really dusty in here. Like when I, we look in front of the light, it's really dusty. It might be dust. It's really hard to um, separate orbs and dust. I don't know if it was an orb, but from what I could see from just playing the video, it looked like an orb. So I do want to say this is an app. It is just a phone. Um, we don't know if it works. Set power lining. I know, okay, the light is really, really bright. What does he need to sort it? Oh, please don't. Jesus. Hey, als je nou vragen wie er nu bij mij is, hè, zou die dan ook reageren? Want we weten inmiddels een beetje wie er bij jullie is. Blijf, ik blijf eens praten. Die blijft praten. Even blijft praten. Um, nou, ik zit Gomer Girls te kijken. Ik ben op dit moment in seizoen 5, de eerste aflevering. Dat is dus wanneer Rory net met Dean heeft geslapen, die getrouwd is. En ik ben helemaal over de middel. Dean is getrouwd? Helemaal groot, hè? Echt, je hamburger met die saus, dat kan echt niet dat gewoon. Zo lekker. Maar we kunnen niet bestellen. Oh. Ik hier zo, dus dat is wel jammer. Oh. Ik kan het ook niet. Shame. De ghost is ons gewoon aan het uitlachen. Amanda. Amanda, ken jij een Amanda? Nee. Dus het is geen geest. Of ze probeert gewoon te bevestigen dat, dat ze ooit een, een mens was in plaats van een demon. Oeh, dat kan. Laat me schrijven. Oh, ja, ook een keer als je die lijkt. Captain. Wat? Captain. Dank. Count. Oh, 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 oh. Ik moet je nog even wat vertellen. Oké. Okay. Can you? Can we what? Shut up. No. Moet je het wel vinden, de Engels? Uh, Notice. Oh. Notice me. Yo, hij is, hij is gloeiend rood. Once. Once. Notice me once. Waaraan ben je overleden? Wat deed je in, in het leven voordat je overleed? Ik bedoel, was je een interessant iemand? Had je een, een grote liefde? Uh, kinderen? Werk. Wat zegt hij? Beeld. Oh. Build this hotel. 
Um, hey, of is het nog voor je stoel toen je ja, bent? Ben ik denk dat dit uh, die guy van het hotel is, schat. Klaar? Ik denk het. Beeld. Gebouwd. Oh my god, hij is degene die het heeft opgezet. Aha. Uh -huh. Aan het Ergens... googelen. Kijk of ik de naam nee. van die uh, man kan vinden. Kapitein de Groot staat er. Er staat geen voornaam. Oh. Captain. Oh. Captain? We hebben Captain gehad. Oké, okay, so just so it we're, we're with the app again. And earlier this night we had a word and that was Captain. And now I'm trying to find the name of the the guy who started the hotel. It's literally Kapitein de Groot. Captain de Groot. Wat zegt hij? Wat zegt hij? Wat zegt hij? Hij zegt, stay here. Um, ik denk dat het naar mij bedoeld is, aangezien ik het had over om me niet al, over al te lang naar mijn bed te gaan. Let Echt? Ik heb geen twee seconden geleden dat geschreven aan mijn vriend. Stop. Ik maak geen grapje. Jij hebt nog geen hallo gezegd. Oh my god, ik heb nog geen hallo gezegd. Daarom, daarom laten we je niet gaan. We're gonna get some sleep and then we're gonna wake up at... 2.30, so we can talk to some more ghosts at 3. So hopefully we're gonna be able to get some sleep and talk to some ghosts after that. It's almost 3 a.m. and we're getting ready to enjoy a watch hour. So before it's actually 3 a.m. and we start doing this thing, I wanted to kind of explain what a witch hour actually is. So the witching hour or devil's hour is a time of night that is associated with whereby witches, demons and ghosts are taught to appear and be at their most powerful. I really want to do the app in that room with the, the scary bed and the scary mirror and the scary toilet and the scary door. I also want to take some pictures in the mirror. Maybe we'll see something, because I took pictures earlier, but I didn't really see anything. It's 3 a.m., guys. Let's go. Okay, so we do definitely see some activity. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What does it say? Attic. Solder. Vindt hij net op nog mensen ook zo maar gaan doen om het meer te hm? Wat zegt hij? Among us. Wat zegt hij? Die, oh my god. Who is they? Ali. Gewoon. Als hij weer laag gaat, misschien moeten we eerst even een rondje lopen door de kamer, want dat hebben we ook nog niet gedaan. Okay, so I'm in kind of the back room of our room. We turn off all the lights except for the camera lights and... <laughs> There's that decompose. I'm just gonna sit here in the dark except for the lights and see if we can get some more fun words. So until now we got the most activity on the bed actually. So not really here. Ali, hij zegt weer Ali. It's saying alley again, so I think that maybe they're in the alley, but we're not gonna go out there because, like I said, it's 3 a.m. and there are more guests in this hotel, and I think that's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, we don't want to wake anyone up. Okay, so we took these on Stena. Holy fuck. What do we do? Ik laat gewoon die app hier op bed open liggen en dan maak ik even wat shots en dan moet je me een beetje in de gaten houden. Hij zegt weer Ali. Cry, zegt hij. Zo. Romein. Wat is Hees? H-A-Z-E. Hees. 
Hees. Hees? Hees, met een Z. Wat betekent dat? Weet ik niet. A state of mental confusion. Same. Oh yeah, grandpa's like alcohol. <laughs> it's almost four. We didn't get that much. Yeah, maybe the camera got something we didn't. We're gonna get some sleep and then we'll see you in the morning. And maybe something is still gonna happen and maybe not. We'll see, but we'll keep you updated. Good morning. Do you want to tell everybody what time it is? It's 6.19 But we're getting ready to say goodbye to this creepy ass room The mirror that we're gonna tell you guys about in a bit We're gonna check out first and get some breakfast somewhere And maybe like a Starbucks or something We have to check <laughs> It will be what, what fine are we gonna get? Starbies! It's 7.35 right now, almost. We've been awake since 6. We went to bed at 4. I think I just want to kind of recap the biggest things that happened. Yeah. Um, so I think the first kind of big thing that happened was... Um, the war. So we just put the um, app on. And we talked about the 18-year-old the girl who died in the war. Mm -hmm. um, and then war came up. Yeah, and then the one with your friend. The girl's uh, friend was Anna, who um, died a couple of years ago. Yeah, I definitely think that they kind of targeted you, maybe because I, I was kind of closed. I didn't maybe open myself up enough. Around, I think, 12 a.m., we talked to this, I think, ghost, and we think that it's the captain or the um, owner of the hotel. Old owner of the hotel. So I, I wanted to Google his name and the only thing I could find was Kapitein de Groot, so Captain oh. de Groot. And a little earlier that day we saw Captain on the app. Also after that, like when it was 4 a.m. it was not which hour anymore. I was taking pictures and I will show you guys all the pictures that I took. And then at one picture, just one, um, it's a live picture so I can also make a video of it. Um, there was an actual orb. Earlier, uh, when I filmed like the yeah. curtains, we caught an orb as well. Yeah, we think that's an orb as well, yeah. So that was re really strange. Um, I'm definitely gonna look into that footage and see if it was actually an orb or not. So the thing with, the, with the, this hotel, I definitely think that there is something there. However, I think that if you don't look for it, so if you don't use an app, if you don't use any devices, you may not see it, see it unless you're maybe like really vulnerable for something or if somebody maybe woke it up so maybe we woke it up <laughs> <laughs> because we did get some actions later at night yeah so that's kind of a recap of what happened last night but now we may have to catch a train and i have to go home so thank you guys for watching uh, it's a different video than we normally do but we are planning on doing it more often so get ready for more spooky videos, spooky scary skeleton videos. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and 